Compared to Blender Studio Lab Nordling, in this episode, I want to share uh, this Geometry Node setup. It's very, basically really simple, kind of like a ribbon that can, uh, that's been displaced by noise. But I have actually two points over here, kind of like, uh, and the lines is kind of connecting between the two points uh, with a little bit of offset. So we have like a screen. Um, originally, this is actually just like a, okay, two points empty coming in into geometry nodes. And the result is this curve line connecting the two. Okay, you might have seen this in another video, maybe by Erindale or um, other Blenderians, artists. But so it's like, yeah, just like two points being connected um using this curve line and then i resemble i resemble the points so we can then set the position of the points in between while having this uh i also have this end point selection so the beginning and the end of the points is not moving is not being moved by the noise so the beginning and the end stay there um, while the rest of them is being displaced by the noise texture okay okay so that should be pretty clear and as the ribbon itself is being uh, generated from this curve line but I can just use curve circle if I want to Okay, so what's the other lines that I was generating? That was actually just an instance. So let's say I have like 10 duplicates of the lines. And if I turn off realize instances, the resulting lines will be supposed to be like a equal um, lines. But anyway, I just gonna realize the instance. So basically I'm making duplicates. I'm making the array of the curves and then um, I displace it using the noise. Somehow Blender just froze itself. Sometimes that happens, but it's very rare. I don't know. Could be like a, something to do with the instancing. So let me restart Blender. And just reload it so it's connecting the dots while doing the instancing it might be confusing for blender okay so let's say I have I have 50 50 lines that's being uh, is duplicating the original lines and then I Based on that position, I just displace it using the noise. Okay, so it should be pretty simple concepts. What's interesting and, and what I really want to do actually is to have these lines kind of being reset. Um, so that we have some kind of like a kind of like electricity lines in between the two. I don't know how to do that yet. I, I mean, it's similar to the like the cables being generated between two points, and I just want to randomize the in betweens. It's a I just need to get my head around how to do this, but for now I just. Because I create an array of um, the same objects, and then if I turn off the offset, I'm just gonna get a single line. This is actually like multiple lines, and I actually want to randomize the the W here. It might be possible to use the positions. Um, based on the index of the instance so that's that's one potential 
one possibilities. So if I capture the instance index and plug this somehow into the W. So I was hoping that this could actually work, but yeah. Yep. So uh, yeah, apparently it works. So this is a really weird setup, but this is just how geometry nodes works. So we have now like, let's say we have 10 instance of the lines being connected uh, between these two empty and we grab the index of that instance and just plug it in into the the scene time so there's like some kind of offset for the noise so that's basically what's going on it's a it's really weird but it it should work with the same idea we can also use random value based on this index seed plug into the radius oh yeah this one doesn't seem to work okay maybe no it doesn't like it there must be another way to do that using the set radius over here we can perhaps randomize the radius This goes into the index seed. Okay, I think this probably works. It's however, it's making each of the instance random. Not exactly what I want, but still, still pretty cool. Let's do the resample based on the length. So we have some kind of, it's like a graffiti lines. But anyway, so in summary, we have two points start, uh, point A and point B, and the geometry nodes is doing processing. It's just, it gets the value of point A and point B and use that to generate line. And then we create array of, you know, like duplicates of the same lines and so if we, we get the index of each instance um, using this capture attributes and then we pass it on and offset it and using that as an offset to for noise to displace our lines yeah it's slightly complicated but once you understand this you are ready for something that's a little bit more complicated all right hopefully you find this useful thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye